I came to this country with $36 in my pocket and just a cloth in my back. And at that time when I came uh, to this country, I was expecting so many things to happen in my life because I, was, I, I came with such big dreams. But the fact is that um, just this country was beautiful and, and I was so grateful that I was here. But I found myself, you know, not working on the place that I want to work. And I, work, I was working as a janitor in the beginning. And for a couple of years, I did that. So I exactly, you know, at that time, I felt that uh, that was the only thing that I can do and the only way I can help my family away from here. And then I, <clears throat> I found myself laid off. I went through so much in the beginning, you know, that uh, these, these uh, four and a half months that I also found myself begging on the street of New York just to survive. I, I, I realized that I had to do something for myself. I need to, to look for some kind of resources and I need to wake up. I need to fight back with my emotions, which at that time I felt like was impossible. That was not possible for me to, you know, to bounce back. And I, I finally found a part-time job and I worked during the night in a factory and I moved to New Jersey and I started, you know, working for other factories and I, I put myself through college at that time, you know, part-time college. And I knew that that's something I needed to do for my life. But even if I went to college, then I got my master's degree and my PhD from Seton Hall University. I felt that, you know, it was not, it was something that I was missing in life. Because even that, I had a family, I had my two kids. Um, I had a home. I found myself, you know, having three mortgages in my house. When you're making money, you think that you can spend money and, and you don't think about tomorrow. I was in at least $37,000, $38,000 in credit card debt, and I was living from check to check. You know, one day, when I was seeing some patients privately, I got a phone call from a gentleman, which is, I call him my angel from God, that came and called me and, and invited me to a Primerica opportunity. And of course, you know, when people invite you like that and they sound so so good on the telephone, you know, kind of you kind of suspect that something is wrong with it. It's too good to be true. But anyway, I wanted to change my life. I wanted to do something. And I went to this opportunity meeting. And what happened is that I fell in love with the idea of starting a new career. And I started working four hours the first two, three weeks in the company, I found four, three, four hours. And then when I, when I went through those two, three weeks in the company, I realized that it was a beautiful opportunity, a powerful opportunity. And I fell in love because I was helping people. You know, as a psychologist, I was helping people, you know, but at the same time, I found that people that were coming back to see me as patients, you know, they had a one problem in common, and that was their finances. And I saw myself there and I said, you know what? Let me, let me start something new. Let me, let me try. Let me, let me see if I can commit for the next three months. If in three months that doesn't work, I will quit. And most people don't give themselves a chance to change. And what happened is that right now I'm 14 years in the company. And thanks God, you know, I've been blessed with a big opportunity. And now I can go to bed. The money is there, you know, 10 years, five years already supply, you know, fund to pay any bill, anything that will come, you know, and thanks God, I don't owe nobody a penny. Nobody's looking for me. And it's such a beautiful feeling. I, f I feel so great. You know, it's like you live in a different life. And, and that's what it's primarily all about. I like to help people. I love to help people, especially, you know, when you feel that there are other people that need you, that you can feel important, that you can feel worth it, that you can feel appreciated by people, that when you go to their home and educate them in how to change their life financially, you know, that touched me. And I fall in love with the company. I fall in love with the crusade of the company. And that's what I'm here. And I believe that anybody who can 
who can make a commitment, they can change their life.